is a Friday morning and I am so tightly scheduled. I have my class at 9 o'clock. And then I have my presentation at 11.30. And this is my usual university day life. During my typical university day, I don't really invest in making a long breakfast. Rather than that, I just go for a quick smoothie. You know, smoothies are very easy to make and healthy. Just some fruits and milk and honey. And you're all set and energized till your next meal. I'm a student at the University of Hertfordshire and we are going to Hatfield, a beautiful countryside with amazing views. I'm currently doing my research in cybersecurity and my session at the university is every Friday 9 to 10. And I do have two online classes and one class for master's project, which falls on Monday and Thursday. And my university has a lot of nature reconnect sports and I cannot go without shooting them because a beauty is not admired is a sin. Every time I come to my uni, I go to this place. I don't really do anything, but I just stand still, looking at the leaves. And have you ever came across this thing, that every leaves of the tree is arranged in a specific pattern, or say an algorithm, in such a way that all the leaves can get the sunlight, meaning no leaves are in dark spots so that every leaves get to do their job and that is photosynthesis well now that i have finished my classes and i have a lot of spare time so what I'm thinking is, I have a meeting to attend for my work by 11.30 and after finishing that, I'm thinking about going to some places nearby just to explore a little bit and the fact is, if you're a uni student and you're studying at University of Hertfordshire, you will have a lot of, um, you know, places to go after your classes which is like pretty near one common place that students usually go after their class or in between their classes um, is Hatfield House. Hatfield House is beautiful, historical and we do have a place in St Albans and there we have a cathedral and a park. I quite don't remember the name of the park but it is um, it has a historical background related to the Roman Empire or something whatever so we're gonna go to library and attend my meeting for my work and then we're gonna explore see you
In the top floor of the university library, i.e. LRC, there we have a lot of conference rooms. So which is best when you have to go for a conference, group discussions and meetings related to your work and job interviews, whatever. This is the best place to do it. The library. Which is the next happy place for me to be in. The pattern of studying is a lot different in UK compared to India. There are no strict term exams, model exams, and no one will remind you about submitting an assignment. You have to get into the field. You have to research. You should learn. It is an 80% self-study. So you are provided with two options. Either study and get good marks. How about say good marks? Or chill and worry later. In UK, you are not asked to sit around and study 24 by 7. And the workload of study is just 20% of your Indian syllabus. Meaning, you don't have to work that hard. But there are plenty of opportunities to do research. If you are an engineering graduate in India, or you did similar courses, you don't really have to worry about the UK syllabus. Definitely, you can pass the exams. Because the lecture slides are enough for you to gain good marks in the exams. But, to get a job in the same field, you are not prepared with the syllabus. That's why I'm telling you, it's so important for you to get into the field, research outside of your box. Well, this is the main thing I love about University of Hertfordshire. It has got all these beautiful places, a reconnect with nature. You know, whenever the students want to, they can come, spend some time here, enjoy the breeze, relax the mind, read some books. All the provisions are available inside the campus, both de Havilland and as well as in College Lane campuses. This is a shopping mall next to De Havilland campus. It's not a rushy mall, but you will get whatever you need. I often come to Vetsha to get some fruit tea. When you are really thirsty and you are stressed and tired, instead of going for a coffee or tea, just go for a fruit tea. I swear it can really, really help with your mood.
That was a really long day, and this is my way back to home. Will I have to submit an assignment day after tomorrow? I usually spend four to five days for my assignments, depending upon the size of the assignment. But four to five days, yeah, that's what it takes. So if I give four days, I don't cut short. So that's it for today, and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, bye bye.